Alright guys, welcome to another video and in this tutorial I want to show you guys how to keep score, in other words, keep track of how many monsters the player killed. So you might be thinking, alright, I don't know what to do, click on the dude and add another instance variable, but not exactly. And I want to tell you guys why you can't add an instance variable. Whenever, we'll say we kill this monster for example, whenever he gets destroyed, all instance variables get destroyed along with him. And it does this for the same reason it doesn't keep track of bullets going off the screen because it would be too much memory to keep track of all these variables on objects that get destroyed. So why can't we use an instance variable on him? Well whenever our player dies at the end of the game that would mean that his score would be destroyed as well. So that might be useful if you you know you didn't care about saving the high score or anything but if you allowed a game to be online where you had a high score it saved or maybe just a game for your computer but you had a, like a leaderboard of what what your friends and if you were better than your friends you can't save that data if you keep it in an instance variable so for data like high score we need a special type of variable called a global variable a global variable is basically a variable that it stores value no matter what objects get destroyed so in order to create one go ahead and over in your event street, this is, did I say event street? Like that's a road or something. What we want to do is we want to right click on the bottom and click add global variable right there. Now we give it a name and the name of this, I'm just going to put score. Basically, we're going to keep track of how many monsters did each, um, did they kill pretty much. So the initial value, well, of course it's a number to keep track of how many the initial value is zero pretty much this all the defaults are good right now and as you can see above all of these events we now have a global variable and we know it's a number and it's called score and it's set at zero by default so now what we want to say is when we kill a monster add one to the score so what is the event where when monsters die well it's actually this one right here when monster's health is less than or equal to zero, that must mean that you just killed a monster. So what we want to do here is we want to add an additional action to add one to this global variable score. So add an action, and what we select here is system, and now click add to, where you at, where you at, add to under the global and local variables and what this is going to do is it allows you to add a value to a variable and um, don't worry about local variables right now I'll talk to you guys about those later on so basically you select what variable you want just like before and how much you want to add to it well just go ahead and increase it by a value of one and hit done <laughs> so basically every time we kill a monster make an explosion destroy the monster and add one to the score so we can play this game right now and kill monsters but right now there's no way of seeing our score or you know we need to give the user some input to see keep track of how many monsters they killed so indeed our game is in fact changing this variable and it is adding one or increasing this number by one every time we kill a monster but now we just need a way to uh, show the user what is going on and what their score is currently so in the next video that's what we're going to be doing thank you guys for watching don't forget to subscribe and i'll see you next time